My name is Sean Tamblin. I'm a professional photographer and I specialize in Georgian Bay. Georgian Bay is sometimes known as the sixth Great Lake. It comes off of Lake Huron and encompasses almost 60,000 square kilometers. The eastern shore of Georgian Bay sometimes called the Granite Barrens, is the largest freshwater archipelago in the world. And it's really famous for its undulating layers of granite, windswept pines, wild weather, and wildlife. The kayak is probably the best way to get around Georgian Bay. It allows you to get off of the navigable waterway into the smaller, out-of-the-way places. Tea towel, most important bit of camera equipment you can have up here. Keep things dry, and anywhere you're gonna put anything down is on solid rock, so it's really nice to have a soft surface to put things down on. This catches all the condensation from the hull of the boat, so the cameras aren't sitting in the wet. Oh, hey, the phone. Ah, who needs a phone? Being a kayak photographer comes with its own unique challenges. It's a constant struggle between food and camera gear. A typical trip will be 10 to 12 days, and that's about as much supplies as I can carry. Anything more than that, and I have to start leaving gear behind. All right, time to suit up. My project is called Heart of Stone, and it's specifically trying to look at the history, landscape, and wildlife of the entire region. A lot of photographers go out to Georgian Bay, but very few specialize in it. Last year, I probably spent about two cumulative months over the course of several trips, out kayaking pretty much the entire coastline. I do all of this alone. The reason that I come here is to get away from all distractions. It's you and the landscape and the wildlife. Being out here alone really lets you understand who you are. A lot of people question that. How can you possibly spend two weeks by yourself? What do you do? Well, it lets me focus 100% on the photography. Well, we're on the hunt for turtles. This is a great place for uh, northern map turtles and uh, snappers. A group of turtles is called a bale of turtles. And I've seen over 20 on one rock. Kayaking through this endless archipelago, uh, there's a lot of wildlife. Bears, uh, cranes, all manner of ducks, uh, all manner of snakes. Beavers lots of mink running around. So to be out there on these granite barrens to see so much life is just a fascinating intersection. I first came to Georgian Bay when I was 10, and as soon as I saw the landform, I fell in love with it. The fact that no one's here, that it's so rugged, so remote, and yet somehow still accessible. It is the Canadian Shield. 10,000 years ago, it was all covered under a solid kilometer of ice. And 10,000 years ago, the glaciers retreated and scraped away everything that was there, leaving only the Earth's crust. 
Slowly trees and roots manage to make a mat that can actually hold on, otherwise there's nothing for them to grow in. But the wind shapes everything here, and most of the trees will not even have branches on the westward face. They lean completely to the east. It's almost an alpine environment, except we're just above sea level. Let's see what we got. Anywhere that you go in Georgian Bay, besides seeing fire rings, you'll see little rings like this because everything is solid granite. So tent pegs are meaningless here. There's no way you can sink a peg into that. So the only way to anchor a tent is to secure it with rocks, which is the one thing that Georgian Bay has plenty of. So if you're looking for a campsite late in the day, the best place to start is to look for someone else's rings. All of these uh, chip marks, stones rolling under the glaciers, back when this was under a kilometer of ice. Yeah, too bad our light isn't happening. For kayak photography, Canon really knocked it out of the park with the new 100 to 400. The size of it, the relative compactness of it for something that can do 400 millimeters on a 7D, so it's about 640 millimeters, is really astonishing. And the image quality is, uh, it's just fantastic. It's second to none for something like this. And this is the old 17 to 40 on a 50 megapixel 5DS. All right, hold on, there's, there's some light, look. Fantastic. It's about time. That's quite beautiful. One of the predominant bits of plant life that you'll see out there in Georgian Bay is called Xantheria. And it's a lichen, and this particular lichen actually incorporates parts of plant and animal DNA. I do believe that it has something to do with the seagull droppings. You will see this incredible uh, golden Xantheria out there, and when the sunlight hits it, it coats the rocks like paint. Many, many years ago, uh, I went on a trip to Australia and I had a camera. I didn't know much about it. I was so looking forward to getting the film back, back in the film camera days. And my photography sucked. It was atrocious. It had nothing to do at all with the trip that I had. And I determined that that was simply never gonna happen again. That really made me want to pick photography up so that I could capture simply what I was experiencing. So I taught myself this mixture of art and science that we practice called photography. Gotta have a fire. <laughs> and the mixture of photography, camp craft, and being able to travel by kayak is something that I just naturally gravitated towards. This is it, this is the show. So the minks are over here, an archipelago offshore from this archipelago. And you can actually go one further out to the limestone islands. And then you have the Red Rock Lighthouse, one of the most remote lighthouses in Georgian Bay. If you do the math properly, there are a couple of places out here uh, where at certain times of the year, the sun will set directly behind the lighthouse. And I mean, you gotta have the math. Uh, the sun is uh, it's one degree in diameter. So you have to get it a half degree above the horizon at exactly the right azimuth 
to be in the right place because it's about five kilometers distance. It's a lot of parallax error. If you go 20 feet that way, you're in the wrong place. Open. And one. If we can get two sweeps of the light, then perfect. sandwiched in between this layer and I like that split in the clouds. Georgian Bay really lends itself to landscape photography, panoramic photography, astrophotography. It's a very spiritual place. Uh, you can come out here and really find yourself. This is why we practice photography, to find ourselves, to find the world, and to show other people what we're seeing. I love traveling and I go visit other places. Georgian Bay is the place that always pulls me back. I think my heart lives here, out on the rocks.